hey guys how are you all doing welcome back again it's fidel here guys so while some of you were sleeping our ship reconciled the ship is now sailing sailing back to back adekule and venita are back together adenita she bows on a prayer at the walk oh, wake up wake up and return to base okay the coast is clear enough you people should jig and stand up for your ship anyway guys you all know that this morning is just so refreshing because Omar she is out of the house at least a breath of fresh air anyway Adekule and some housemates ambushed <laughs> yes ambushed Venita as they present to her an emotional song that made Venita and Adekule to settle their differences it was so sweet to watch and the person of Perez Soma Neo angel with adekule they came into the pink room and you know sang the song uh, where adekule is saying i don't want to sleep alone i want to be by your side you know so venita was lying down at last you know she smiled like adekule really tried hey <laughs> Adekule just mobilized his life bad and came in. I just love the fact that Neo, Venita's cousin, was among. It shows that Omo um, is in support of this, um, of the ship at least, yes. And Venita forgave him and accepted him back into her bed. So, the question now is, how did Adekule convince Pere, like Pere, the general himself, to join him on his um, love mission in apologizing to Venita. The bottom line is that Pere is just a good man. I don't know if it's because Pere joined um, the military as a nurse. That is why he's just tough in the inside. Just as Lucy said in her diary session yesterday, that people need to get to know Pere more. That Pere is a very good man. And I love the fact that Pere joined. Seriously, Pere joined Adekule in play, you know, singing again clapping for venita to forgive him you all know that pere and venita it's adequately they had some clash but i think that pere is all over that right now anyway guys talking about pere hey guys guys did you know that pere told alex like they were having a discussion in fact they, you know alex was you know telling um pere that uh, when prince came that she felt really saved and she didn't feel the need to have her guts up anymore that she could even drink to stupor during the thursday pool party and the saturday night party because she knew that prince was there and prince would take care of her very well like prince will not allow her to uh, you know misguard and all that thing but now that he is gone that she really don't know what she would do anyway guys um, pere consoled her they had a long discussion and pere told you know about their banters and clash in the past and pere told alex see you Pere told Alex that don't worry, that five years from now, they will be, you know, remembering their fights in the house and, um, you know, they will be laughing over their fights in the house, uh, you know, as a family over a drink. Did you get that? Pere told Alex that five years from now, him and her will be laughing over their fights as a family over a drink. So I don't know what you are thinking, but is it what I'm thinking? Because this is indirectly saying that maybe five years from now, Pere and Alex will be family, like husband and wife, and they will remember all this their misunderstanding and fight as a housemate, and they will be laughing over it, you know, making jokes out of it, over, you know, drinking while making jokes at it. Oh my guys, hey, who say God know they work? What God cannot do <laughs> does not exist, to oh guys. Hey, you all remember that during the week one, Alex said that her prophet, her pastor, told her that she's going to meet her husband as a housemate housemate in the house so now that and you all know it's only Pere that really showed interest in Alex directly and indirectly and Alex also told Pere that you know she have something to tell him when they go outside the house and all that but I don't know where devil came and you know they are just have five, uh, having unnecessary fights and when I've been reporting this thing some people say that why Alex is continually attacking Pere is because she have a secret um 
um love for him like she's a secret admirer and she don't want to say her feelings or maybe Perry is drawing closer to Sissy. you know it was just so complicated uh, and now that Perry have also said again i know you know <laughs> Anyway, let's see how this word of God, this um, prophecy that her pastor said, how it's going to come to pass. We will still be alive five years from now. And I will still be a YouTuber five years from now. And I will still come and give you the gist that Perry have married Alice last, last. I wish them all the best though, if it's going to come to pass. Anyway, talking about ships in the house, um, we all know another ship is Somjol. Somjol um, had a very good cozy evening, you know, after the eviction, she survived, the, you know, the, she removed her clothes, they stayed in the um, dressing room, they were kissing, you know, this and that, oh my guys, hey God, Angel told Soma that she cannot wait to F him, you all know the F word, yes, she cannot wait to F him outside the house. And so Ma said, oh, and she said that she know that it's going to be, you know, interesting. It's going to be sweet. Uh, she cannot really wait to have him. Hmm. And so Ma said, he, he hopes so. And Angel was like, you hope so. Like, you don't trust in my P word. Like, you all know, I don't want to, ah. You, you don't trust in my P word. You don't trust in down there. Yes, you don't trust my down there. And so Ma was like, no, it's not like that. It's not like that. Oh, Ma, hmm. This angel of a girl, she's really nutty. <laughs> but I love the discussion, how they were, you know, discussing about it, laughing over it and all that. I think they are getting close, uh, you know, closer and closer. But I don't know. Angel have a relation, one year plus relationship outside the house. I don't even know about if it's a game at this point or if she are falling or if someone are falling or they are just using themselves or they are just keeping body and soul together. Whatever it is, Sha, I wish them all the very best. I wish them all the very luck and um moving forward all the evicted housemates yesterday i'm talking about lucy ek and prince i wish them all the very best especially lucy and ek i just hope that he founds his ground he makes more money i hope that um, lucy finds the help that she needs continue to succeed she has been doing well and i hope her i hope and pray that she do even more better i don't even know i did not mention one person's name because i don't care about that person so i only mentioned three yes and that is prince ek and then um, lucy and i'm more interested in ek and lucy <laughs> anyway guys moving forward about the same um, epic housemate i think um um, Omoshala is the only one really playing the role of um, the fake housemate. Do you know that Omoshala told um, Cross that he's so scared now that Lucy and Prince is gone. That he's so scared that, you know, he came in late and his fans now may have picked other faiths in the house. And he don't know whether his fans will be voting. Like he's just pretending like he is competing for the 120 million. Almost his strategy now. I know that he knew that his numbers and um, his days are not bad in the house. I just hope that, that Biggie just keep him for more. I really wish that Omoshala is playing for the money. Seriously. But moving forward, let's talk down the comment section with your opinion and thoughts. Love you guys.